going on everybody? Welcome back to another 30 day fishing challenge episode. I think it's day number 17 or 16. I think it's 17. I, you lose track after like eight. But today we're out on the Potomac River. We're gonna see if we can get some big old bass to eat. We've got a couple of conditions that are in our favor, I think. You know, everything in fishing is situational, but we have an incoming tide. It literally just kicked. I think it started coming in at eight. It's 8.13 right now. And then we have some huge storms rolling through later on in the afternoon. So we're gonna fish all morning and then a little bit into the afternoon. I definitely wanna get back to the ramp before these storms roll in because the Potomac can get pretty freaking nasty in this little John boat. But we'll be okay, we'll be totally fine. I completely trust this boat and you know, I trust myself too, so. Um, we're gonna start off fishing the spoils, which if you're from this area, you know exactly where the spoils is. We're gonna go over to Blue Plains, which a lot of you guys, even if you don't know what it is, you've definitely seen me fish it in the past. And these are just community holes. Community holes that hold a ton of fish. And it's really, really fun fishing in this area. You know, they're, I mean, you're right in the middle of the city. We have MGM Casino there, Old Town Alexandria here. We have Reagan National Airport there. And then DC is right behind us. It's such a cool urban spot to fish. I love coming out here. I don't do it nearly enough, but we'll see what happens today. We're gonna get out and throw some shaky heads, drop shots, jigs, Texas rigs, crankbaits, top water. I don't know, we'll figure it out. We'll see what the fish want, but hopefully they're gonna eat today. All right, all right, here we go. Favorite time of the day, boys. Sandals off. I don't know what it is. I hate fishing with shoes on. Oh, we're in the good stuff now. Oh, there's a bite. Has he got it? Yeah, he's got it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. ooh, this feels decent. Come here, buddy. Hammered the jig. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Stay, stay, stay. Good boy. First fish of the day. Football jig. That's a solid three pound fish though. Take it. Perfect keeper size fish. Hit it on the jig right out on this point. There's like a ledge out there that has a bunch of wood on it and I figured fish are just stacked up there with the incoming tide and the wind blowing against it too. So there might be a few more, we're gonna check, but that's a nice healthy little fish right there. We're gonna let her go, go catch her mama. See ya. Got that fish on this football jig. I think this is the, oh no, you know what? Josh Loomis, the guy that sent me the chatter baits, he actually sent me this jig as well so thanks dude I have a zoom chunk on here just right down the middle gives it a really big presentation like that's pretty big normally i'll thread it on but i was watching a mikey balls video and he said in the summertime he likes to just pin them on there like that right through the middle because of that bigger presentation and i've had some luck it's been working so pretty solid all right here we go football jig 101 really quick lesson and I don't like to say lesson that sounds lame so when you're fishing a football jig that's something I'm generally gonna fish a little bit deeper I'm in 14 feet right now and I'm fishing a really big point with a bunch of junk out here so I'm gonna cast out as far as I can let it sink all the way to the bottom kind of keep an eye on your line because a lot of times fish will hit it on that initial fall once it gets down there you just kind of drag it hop it a little bit really not too much going on you want this thing to get down and around all the cover out on the point because that's where the fish are going to be sitting also with this incoming tide and the wind blowing this way i'm pretty sure the fish are going to be facing towards that bridge in front of me so that's another thing with positioning you want to face yourself into that cast into the wind in the current and then just have your bait come down in front of these fish so they'll be able to see it just a little bit longer. Now, I've definitely caught fish fishing it with the current. It's not to say they won't bite, I just think this gives you a little bit better chance of catching more fish. There is so much good stuff out there. Where are the fish? All right, one more cast. And we are gonna go over to Blue Plains. I don't wanna spend too much time here. All right, let's go, let's get out of here. Going over to the other spot, look at this dude. What is that? 
Oh my god, gigantic snakehead. Or gar, big old gar. Yeah, big gar. Ugh. Well, I made like a mini Tokyo rig kind of deal the other day. I'm gonna try it out a little bit. I'm gonna put a black with red flake brush hog on and just drag this around, fish it like a Texas rig. Should work. Probably lose that weight in like 10 casts. But we'll see what happens. Oh God. Ooh. <laughs> oh buddy, come here. Here we go, do I still got the weight? Do I still got the weight? Oh, come here. Oh, is it on there? Come on, be there. It's there, yes, the weight stayed, I'm stoked. It's probably a little 14 inch fish, about a pound and a half. Crushed it. These fish's teeth are so sharp, it's crazy. See you, buddy. All I was doing, I mean, I just fished this like a Texas rig. That's exactly what this is. For the most part, it just keeps that bait an inch or two higher off the bottom. I wish that wire was just like an inch or two longer so the bait would stay like three or four inches up instead of two. But we'll see. Seems like it's working. Oh, there's a bite. Oh, it broke me off. No. No, that was the only one that I had. That sucks, my friends. There's a lot of junk down there in the water. I really doubt my knot broke. Nope, I think I just got sliced off on something. That felt like a good fish too. There's like a corrugated metal wall that runs down right about where I'm at. Probably just got right over top of that, but that's a very clean break. That wasn't a knot breaking. Oh well. Well, since I don't have any more of those awesome Tokyo rigs that I made, even though I only made one, I'm just gonna go with a straight Texas rig. It's a fish. Come here, buddy. Whoop. Number three. Probably about 12 inches a pound. So we got five pounds on three. These fish are definitely stacked up right in this little area right here. Throw the crankbait a bit. This is guaranteed to get stuck, but hopefully it'll catch us some fish. There we go, first cast. <laughs> first cast, that's a good fish. Oh God. Here we go. Oh, that's a solid fish. I'm off balance right there. Ate the shaky head. Man, this fish is fighting so hard. Yoop. All right, that's fish number four. We got about eight pounds for four fish. Not bad. It's a solid one. See you, buddy. Here we go. That's the bait we just caught that fish on. It's an eighth ounce shaky head. My buddy Eddie makes these. And then that biz baits worm. So I was throwing one earlier that was watermelon and blue, and I realized it's probably too dirty for that, so I switched over to the black and blue. Probably, I don't know, third cast with it. I caught that three pounder. Pretty solid. Fish. Ugh, here we go. It's another probably three pounder. Yeah, he's three. Shaky head right where you want it. He hit it on the fall too. I know there's a big hole back there. It drops down to like 20 feet. So I just cast it out and let it sit. Yeah, high two, low three pounder. Shaky head, see ya. All right, that was our fifth fish. Another, we'll say three pounder. So we got 11 pounds for five. All right, I wanna try something silly. You guys are gonna laugh, but I think this is about to be awesome. This is pretty goofy. But I think it's gonna work. We're gonna try to catch a fish on the micro medusa. So this is a musky bait. It's the smallest medusa that Chaos Tackle makes. It's got a single giant treble hook, but I don't know why a bass wouldn't eat this. I mean, I don't exactly know what it looks like, but you know, I've heard of some octopus in the Potomac River. Oh God, oh my God, I just had one. I just freaked out, I thought I was stuck. I just had a fish eat the Dusa. Holy crap, that felt like a big bite too. Oh my God, that's insane. 
Oh god, I just got bit. Second bite on the mini Dusa. Oh my god, come on! That fish came all the way up to the surface for it. That was sick. I was just jigging it next to the boat. When I pulled it up, that fish literally came out of the water to try to eat it. Just got a bite. When I'm throwing this micro Dusa, I'm just jigging it off the bottom. That seems to have gotten me the most bites. So that's what I'm doing. I'm basically yo-yoing it back to the boat. Just lifting it up off the ground, letting it fall. It has those three tails on the back, which just put off so much action. And it moves a ton of water, so. I can see why the bass would eat this. I just don't think they can get it in their mouth all the way. So we're gonna take this Medusa and throw it in between these dock pilings for a while. Oh no. We're gonna see what happens there. I wanna start working my way back to that other spot. Don't want to give up on the Medusa bite, but got to get going. See if we can get lucky. Oh, got him. Oh, yeah. Come up here. Look at that on the Medusa. There we go. There we go. That was awesome. Mission accomplished. Look how pretty this fish is. It's so light blue. That was sick. He absolutely hammered that thing too. I'm glad I caught one on the micro Medusa. That was sick. Awesome. All right, buddy. He's kind of beat up. See ya. Let's see if we can get another. I'm just gonna fish the rest of this dock. Screw it. Let's see how many we can catch on the Medusa. Oh, I just, God dang it. Just had one right there. I was ripping it out of the grass. There he is. Oh, yeah. Fish number two on the Dusa. There we go. Another decent fish. A little pound and a half. That was sick. I was just jigging the Dusa and he came up and smoked it. It's so cool. So cool. See ya. All right, two fish on the Dusa. That was fish number seven. We're gonna throw the Texas rig around this spot for a minute. It's pretty shallow, it's only four feet. There's definitely some grass and wood mixed in. I'm gonna see if I can pick up a couple more. Oh. Yeah, there's a couple fish here. It's number eight. Let's see We're gonna try a jig for a little bit. Done. All right, it's time to make the big run back across the river. Looks nice and calm in here. I'm in a little back bay. But I know out there it's gonna be a little rough. Should be fun. Got it now. There we go, there's our jig fish. Whoa, fell off, almost got me. There was no bite, the fish just picked it up and ran on that isolated piece of wood. About a pound and a half, pushing two. See you on the jig. Bassman jig. Check them out, I got them linked in the description below if you're interested. These are awesome flipping jigs. Here's a quick tip for you guys while I take this backlash out. Um, when you see wood like this, kind of isolated, you know, coming off of this point, you see it sticking out of the water, obviously fish the piece, like right there, that's coming out of the water where it meets. But also, you want to fish it how you think it goes into the water. So, the, oh, 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 you got it? I just got bit right there. But, okay, so what I was gonna say before I got that bite, is these two pieces of wood right in front of me go out who knows maybe 15 
20 feet. So you want to fish that end that's in the water as well, not just the piece that's sticking out. And I mean, I'm, I've been guilty of that plenty, you know, just kind of skipping the good part. But I really find that I'm catching a lot more fish lately, kind of at that bottom piece where the wood meets the bottom. Number 10, that's a solid one too. Solid fish on the jig. I didn't even know he had it, <laughs> to be honest. I was like, wait, why is my line 30 feet to the left? I was only half paying attention. Oh, hello. Hey, 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 don't you hit my hat. Another one, it's number 11. It's another solid, close to three pounder. Jigging. He's up real shallow in that shade, right next to that tree. Pretty fish though, he's solid. See you, bud. It's hard to leave, I really should be going home. All right, we're gonna fish just a little bit longer, five more minutes and we gotta roll. Oh, you got it? Yep. Oh God, bye. <laughs> ah, too funny. That fish literally went flying, it came unhooked once it got to the other side. Kind of awesome. All right, one more cast. Random. I'm getting burnt today. Whoops. I'm like 15 different colors right now. My arms, forearms are super freaking dark. Upper arms, paler, body, white as hell. Legs, dark. Upper legs, white. It looks ridiculous. Awesome day. That was fun. I'd say we made it home just in time. And that, my friends, is what an awesome day of fishing looks like. It was really fun. I was out there for like four and a half, five hours maybe. Caught 12 fish, caught two on the Dusa. It was dope. Fun morning and fishing. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned a little bit. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button for me if you're not already subscribed. We'll see you all 